Namaste and welcome to the Path to Empowerment, the one and only Numinous Path, and this is King Gaia. And today I am giving you guys our June energy forecast. It's June, it's Gemini and Cancer season, so let's get it. Oh my God, finally, Mercury retrograde is over. Bye, bitch. Okay, I mean, seriously, no shade. Um, there is an upside to Mercury retrograde, though, and I actually posted a timeless pick a card reading on the topic, and I call it a timely gift from Mercury retrograde. Yes, child, I did that. <laughs> a gift. <laughs> Don't roll your eyes. <laughs> you know, on our next retrograde, check it out and you will understand. For me, for example, Mercury retrograde is Hermi mode. Um, it's time for isolation and introspection and creative pursuits, you know, going back, revision, revisit, reassess, blah, 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 okay? But what's going on outside my cocoon during retrograde? That's crazy shit. I don't even want to deal with, right? Okay, so. <laughs> Returning viewers, subscribers, and members, welcome back, Legion. We're many, you know, you're not alone. Your home, and this is our sacred cyberspace, our sacred starseed vessel. Okay, I am proud of you for choosing self love, self care, self empowerment, and for doing our shadow work. You know, period. Thank you for your views, your likes, and subscribes. And um, thank you for helping me grow this channel and for allowing me to be of service to you. If you are new to the channel, though, welcome was good and <laughs> welcome to the kingdom i am so glad that your intuition spirit guides let you here you know so go ahead and say hi introduce yourself and let's hang around a little bit okay everything that you need to know about me my offerings um and the nature and purpose of this channel will be posted on the description section of this video please feel welcome to join our free spiritual community at www.thenuminouspath.com okay so okay Gemini. Let's get right into this, okay? Let's get busy. Gemini is a sign of communication. You know, we all know that. It's the curious Gemini. It's the intellectual, you know. And last month, last month, our collective was led to sensitize and synergize. That was the message, you know. And it was very much in touch with sound and resonance, meaning recalibrating, recalibrating our thinking, recalibrating um, our thinking, um, articulating our message, blah, 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 tongue twister, <laughs> and just talk it out, you know, recalibrate, articulate, let it out, you know, getting shit out of the system, no matter how long it takes, you know, um, the underlying message was really all about clarifying and tuning and um, creating the most genuine copy and expression of our truth, our message, um, our mission statement, our manifesto, all of it, you know, but as we recalibrated our thinking, also simultaneously, consciously or subconsciously, um, we adjusted our antenna. That's that's what happened. You know, we're talking about upper chakras, crown chakra, third eye, and throat chakra shit, right? And um, <clears throat> there is one of my tutorials, um, one of the earliest tutorials it's called tarot for awareness and um, it's tutorial number 202205 and it's how to use tarot for self-awareness meditation and intuitive development and it's about using you know tarot cards for receiving wisdom and information that is different from what stems from logic and reasoning you know using tarot as a tool for 
for self-reflection, for meditation, and, and connecting with your intuition, and also for cultivating mindfulness and, and self-awareness. And the reason that I am bringing this up is because of the relevance of this month. You know, this the, the relevance of that particular tutorial and its benefits for this month, the energy of this month. Mercury is the messenger of God. And it is also representing of um, the mind and intelligence and wits and everything that's written, verbal and nonverbal communication, right? Like body language, like, you know, sign language, you know? So when Mercury shows up, there's also a very... Um, there's a sense of um, urgency. There's it, it, when Mercury shows up in your life um, as a message or as the messenger, something is urgent, you know. And what is the urgency right now is do not miss the signs. Do not miss the signs, collective. Okay, pull up, open, sharpen up your antenna. You know, pay attention to the signs. You know, um, obvious signs and the subtle signs. Okay, that's that's the catch. Lots of subtleness in the signs, you know, and the messages. So that's why self-awareness and just awareness in general is going to be key here. You know, it's going to be a defining element um, for your purpose fulfillment, okay? You need to be able to see beyond the veil and understand the message period okay so conscious and subconscious messages will be delivered to us this month you know through dreams memories ideas visions words lyrics um thoughts lectures hints you know clues it's just information galore coming from anywhere and everywhere um, some of us have been chosen for a unique destiny blueprint download and um, you can miss it you know if you're not paying attention bitch you know purpose leadership legacy all of this is on the line because we're talking about expansion and taking a leap forward okay so star seeds listen carefully this is tough, tough, tough love, darling. We are here on Earth School to help uplift humanity. We are not here to binge on Netflix or waste our lives on a 9 to 5 autopilot drill. Wake the fuck up, okay? Loosen up the grip and take the leap, you know? Some of us have recently experienced um, disappointments and betrayal and heartbreak and great losses, you know, of course, collectively and individually. You know, we all have experienced big Ten of Swords moments, which may have caused um, a lot of us to close our hearts and put up walls and, you know, some of us are still hiding, you know, hurting, we're sore, we're confused, we're overwhelmed and, and maybe distracted by all of this pain and, and confusion, right? And this is keeping us in a low frequency. And when we are on such a low, fre low frequency, we will not be able to listen to these messages. We will not be able to catch up on these downloads, okay? So the the message here is open up okay open up last month spirit also wanted us to purge our playlist it was a very unique request but it has a reason there's a reason behind it is because music vibration frequencies will be the conduit for many of these messages okay what we feed our souls on a daily basis, uh, visually or um, through our, you know, through sound, um, should be inspirational and uplifting. You know, taking us places, high vibrational places. You know, um, the point that I am trying to make here is that our feelings, 
um, our emotions, our ability to perceive energy, um, that's our alarm system. And if we are hiding, if we are numbed, if we are distracted by pain or mundane shit, then we're going to miss the signals, okay? Um, what is it that we need to pay attention to again? Your gut feeling, your emotions, your intuitive um, hunches, your instinct, your intuition. You know, Mercury is here to activate your clairs. Through a Mercury retrograde now, Mercury season, you know, Mer we were on retrograde on his, its own house, you know, on Gemini. Um, this is clear activation, you know, if you have one or two, it will be activated. Clear audience so that you can hear, clairvoyance so that you can see, clear sentience so that you can feel, okay? Um, and clear cognizance so that you know, because of course, when you know, you know, right, baby? There you go. Um, messages will be delivered to you via dreams, visions, memories, a lot of symbology and numerology. Um, angel numbers will be important this season. Synchronicities, serendipities, deja vu's. Um, of course, uh, uh, lyrics and songs, musical vibration, and of course, through tarot and oracle cards. I mean, you are here after all, right? You are receiving the message. So there is a special someone in physical form or in divine presence, like a spirit guide or an ancestor um, that is coming to you um, to support you. It's coming for your rescue to your rescue, um, is here to remind you who the hell you are, period. And, um, you know, this is a divine partnership, a pers either personal or professional. You know, the specifics are completely irrelevant right now. Um, what's important is that this message is going to help you connect with this energy. I want you to think of battle cats, you know, honing their battle cry. You know, I want you to think um, Avengers Assemble. <laughs> I want you to think of Batman Signal, you know, that symbol projected on the sky. I want you to think of the mother boxes reuniting. <laughs> Your antenna is being activated and messages are being downloaded um, so that you can find each other, so that we can find each other, you know, because what we are doing next in our life um, in related to our purpose involves our soul family. And if you are not in alignment with your most authentic form, your most authentic vibration and energetic core, you will not recognize each other and you could miss the connection, okay? So, go ahead and please subscribe to our channel right now if you haven't already um, so that your... Um, your antenna pops up. <laughs> so you align your frequency and activate your very own antenna. And you can tune in with this message, with the collective message. Because I can only connect with you energetically when you subscribe and take a seat in this, like a virtual seat inside this cosmic sacred vessel that it is this channel. You know, you were divinely guided um, to be here with me today. So allow me to deliver. You know, subscribe and ask your guides. To allow me, King Gaia, to channel for you and deliver what you really, really need to know right now, right? Allow me to be of service to you. Please, Spirit, keep me safe and help me channel the right messages for my tribe, for my star seeds and the chosen ones. Only you know who's coming and who needs this message, right? You know, I'm not in charge. And look at this, Five of Cups, collectively, we are 
crying over spilled milk. You know, collectively, we are just focusing on the loss and the pain and the regrets and the failures and whatever happened that didn't work out. You know, meantime, there's these two cops here waiting, waiting for us. And that's, that's the point. That's the point that if we are not paying attention, we're going to miss out. We're going to miss out on the, on the messages. We're going to miss out on the future connections. We're going to miss out on this two of cups offering that's right before us, just waiting for us to fully connect, to fully align, okay? Now, moving on, making space for more cards <laughs> as we're going to tap into the new moon and the full moon uh, rituals recommendations for the month as you already know new moon full moons are very different celestial and metaphysical happenings um a full moon is bold and loud and bright and more climatic and it's all about completion and gratitude and the energy is always you know letting go letting go um and becoming receptive after manifestation work it's about releasing and forgiving and closing a cycle and casting out um, usually with fire rituals like saging um, burning pictures and pages and just doing shadow work okay um our full moon for the month will happen on june 14th let's see uh, my recommendation Oh my God, it is the void. And the void speaks of releasing. It's, it's like the perfect energy. But it's in this particular case, it speaks of stop the resistance, stopping the resistance, you know? And it's a very, very appropriate message considering the collective message that we just received is, you know, resisting the our, our power, resisting our... Um, our path of least resistance where we could just go with the flow you know and become more open and embrace more of our feminine energy right so this full moon is going to help us um, heal any challenges that we have within ourselves you know the inner resistance and the inner critic and you know in the event of the new moon the new moon is the opposite the new moon is going to be more of a sort of energy quiet and gentle is practically day zero working behind the scenes and, and it's so full of hope and intention setting and and it has that new toy new beginning smell <laughs> and it's all about um wish list and vision boards and setting new goals and journaling joining masterminds is very common as well brainstorming idea bouncing back and forward you know starting new projects um and the way we cast this out actually we cast this in is with water rituals you know like bath and ocean um or river or lake skinny dipping and stuff like that in this month for this month our new moon is happening on june 28th and the recommendation the energetic recommendation is focused on patience but it's patience this patience drop upside down so i'm going to interpret this as our need to become more patient right patience speaks of again is there's an energy of um receptivity you know is when we are in the mode of not being patient we fall into the doing 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 asking 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 following 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 you know just too much too much and it 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 has this energy of neediness, which is, um, it repels. It does not attract, it repels. So by becoming patient, patient, you allow manifestations to happen on divine timing. And always, you know, divine timing is such a topic of like, ah, uh, eyes rolling because nobody wants to wait you know we all are used to this instant gratification and we want things fast and now you know but in reality it doesn't work that way there's always divine timing there's a divine plan in place you know and um, it doesn't matter what you do to rush it the more you do to rush it you're actually de delaying it you know um so this new moon will help us you know heal 
um, any issues that we have with patients, um, with the lack of balance as well, and also if we don't understand moderation, you know, that's, it's a good, good energy to work on. So for full moon, we're going to focus on receiving, you know, and end of new moon, we're going to focus on waiting, waiting and receiving.